Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make onboarding screen animation using Jet Compose. Here is our output. You can swipe to next page and to make this animation you need to add this library. So you can find your assets in this website. You can find this link in our video description. This one is optional. If you want to make without animation, you can add some PNG in your drawable folder, then you can use. So if you want to make some animation like this, you can use this library. And you need to add this library to make pager. To swipe next to left like this. You can use pager horizontal or vertical manner. So onboarding screen, it's recommended to make horizontal view like this. Now we need to download some of the assets file and we have to load in our raw folder under the res. So I have downloaded three JSON file. You can download your file. For example, you can find your respective icon from this side. then you need to select this icon here is the download option you can download optimized loti json file if you have your premium motion means you can use this one or you can download this file so you need to add this file in your raw folder then here is our onboarding data so this is our data class. Basically, we have here three data, title, description, and image. So we have created respective data class here. And here is the common composable function, which helps us to load your assets file from your raw folder. So let's see later. In our main activity, we have your main function. In this function, we have a array list of onboarding data class. This data class we already created. So we need to pass image, title and description. So we are creating the array list of data class. Then we are adding some of the item to this array list. So for example, I am adding some image and title and sub description. Likewise, I have added three item. So it's recommended to use three to five item to your onboarding screen. If you make more screens means user may be get bored. So I just recommended use three screens per your onboarding screen. Now here we have a page state. So we have to pass a word item. So here is the item. We have a three item in our array list. Here we have to pass size of our item. So item dot size will help us to find the size of our array list. Then infinity loop if you want to stop this loop after third position means you can set false otherwise it will be come come again come again like this so if you want to stop this once you can set simply false initiate page should be zero so when you load your app it will be the first screen so here is our onboarding pager we have passing this respective data so page pager state here we have created and here is the list of item we have created the array list and we set some modifier like maximum width and background color is white you can try some gradient color to background or some some other color will make you more gorgeous to make your app so I am using plain single color. So you can try this one also. And here is my onboarding view pager. Here we have a design, the horizontal pager UI design. In this horizontal pager scope, we have a created column view. So in this column scope, we have a image. If you want to load image without any animation means, you can simply use image simply use image to load your image without any animation like this so you can simply load some of png files in your drawable file then you can use your 
PNG from your local assets. So here we using third party intro animations. So this will also increase your size of your app. So you can use this one because it will be pretty good animation. So I just recommended to use this one. It's up to your wish. Here is the text and here is the subtext. Then here we are, we are passing page indicator. So we need to pass the total size of our array list and current position of our page. So accordingly to that current position, we just changing this indicator with. So basically we have making this repeating size of our here is the size we getting from our array list. So basically our array list size will be three. So based on three, it will be make this UI. So in this indicator, if it is selected means we just changing this 25 dB width. If it is not selected means we just setting 10 dB size. Then finally, we just setting some box UI like using clip circle shape. You can try any shape from here and I just using circle shape and some color also I just changing here if it is selected means I'm changing red light otherwise I just changing the gray color as you wish you can change this color too then finally in our bottom selection we have a skip and next button so here is the bottom selection in this bottom selection, we just alignment bottom center. In this, in this composable function, we have a row. So we have a row. We have divided this two part, one for skip button and another for next button. Then here we have using current pager position. If it is two, means we just showing this get started button. This is, our, this is our third page. If it is position two means we can show get started button like this. Otherwise, this will be load skip and next button like this. Uh, then this is our uh, skip button, skip or next button composable function. You can better move to this common function in common pages. So your code will be more readable. This is all about onboarding screen animation. We'll see you guys in next video. Thank you.